We're going on holiday, we're going on holiday, we're going to Ibiza. Excited, I can actually cry. When I was booking this holiday on Saturday, I was actually crying. Luckily, my mum's a travel agent, so I wasn't with a random woman, but I was actually sobbing. Like when she started searching for holidays, tears were coming down my face because I just need this holiday so much. Like after uni and just we've had such a like a, an achievement year like i feel like ollie's been working so hard and like when i finished uni i was just craving a holiday and we finally booked so we're flying to ibiza welcome back to the channel by the way guys if you're new here then hi my name's jodie um i've just finished uni if you are new here um, I've just finished a fashion degree course and I'm about to graduate so we wanted to make a quick trip between now and the graduation. I'm so excited. So today is Monday, we literally booked this holiday on Saturday so this is going to be a big prep with me for holiday. Um, obviously I'm so unprepared because it just was like we just sprung it on ourselves, super spontaneous. Um, so I'm really unprepared. So if you want to prep with me for my first ever trip to Ibiza then please keep watching. Also smash the thumbs up button if you are excited for today's video and also don't forget to subscribe. It would mean so much to me if you could give me a little subscribe. Um, but yeah, today's Monday. Let's get on with the video. We're getting our nails done on Wednesday. I've actually lost one and um, I've been getting by it but this one was like half on, half off so I pulled it off because it was just getting caught on things. I'm a little bit stressed. Um, but yeah, if you want to prep with me for my little holiday then please keep watching this is going to be so fun so i'm going to do a prep with me which will probably come first i'm going to do a pack with me um when i pack and then i'm going to obviously do an ibiza vlog but we're only there for four days so it'll probably just be the one or i could maybe split it up into two depends how much footage i guess i guess i get right i thought i'd show you some pieces that i've acquired for holiday um already so these aren't new i've had these in so many years but look how cute these shorts are from primark they've got like little pearls on i don't think i'll take them but um look how nice they go with this bodysuit for like a nice english sunny day they're literally from primark they're a size eight and they had pearls on i loved them a few years ago um i also got this from primark about a month ago this was six pound it's like just a big flowy white dress so i'm thinking i might actually take this because i can put it over like a bright colored bikini and it could look cute um and then i got these from plt last year because i was this by the way guys this is so funny this is my fourth attempt at trying to go to ibiza booked it in 2020 cancelled then we rebooked in 2021 and then I think we cancelled it because it was looking unlikely but I'm pretty sure we could have actually gone in the end. Then I was meant to go at the end of last year on a work trip with Hidden and I tested positive for Covid, I didn't even have it, it was a faulty test. So I've always thought like I'm not meant to go but here we are. Um, they're like these little orange cargo pants, I'm pretty sure this was the Molly May collection. I got these in an 8 and I did actually like buy it with the intention to go into ibiza and then when i know i weren't going i was going to send it back but i just forgot so those shorts are really cute and then this is the top it is like a holiday outfit look at the top it's like a little shell like bikini top and they also had a shirt and um, that went with it but it's going to be too hot for the shirt hopefully so that's one outfit and um, which i thought would be really cute and then i also got this from plt a few months ago and it's like a really i don't know where the top is though it must be up there it's got like a little um knitted top but it's like knitted beach trouser and it's like a really cute zebra print in like green and cream i thought we could just open this parcel anyway because the bits i got are unreal and i just wanted to share so the first thing i got was this and i thought this could either be a cute beach cover up but also of an evening this is what i think i'm gonna wear one of the evenings so it's like a brown and like beige striped a little like crochet dress and then it's got like a huge cut out here like how lovely will that be with a tan and it's like a huge cut out on the back and it just goes into a little skirt i got this in a small because i didn't want it to be so short that i looked um like half naked 
so I got that which was super cute and I got some new Yeezy slides because I've only got my lilac ones and I thought I'm in need of like a neutral so I love wearing these and what I love about these is they don't get hot in the sun you know some sliders get like hot like sandals do in the sun these don't so um I've had boohoo ones before but I got this like literal neutrally beige colour which I thought will go with everything even from yeah they'd even go with the dress and I'm low-key wishing I got the orange one now because I got this like tracksuit for the airport and it's got orange in and I just know that it would look sick with orange and I'm probably gonna have to ruin it by wearing beige if I do decide to wear this to the airport so I got it's another like sweat short one these are the little shorts look how cute and i thought these will go really cute you know with that um stradivarius bralette i've got but i got this in a medium um i think my yellow ones are small i can't remember and then i got this big sweatshirt and how sick is this guys from the airport so it's like design studio one but the print and if you guys know about like boohoo quality this is so thick and nice but i thought what a go-to airport outfit, I'm sorry. That's all I'm pulling up on the drive. Um, yeah, in the medium. I was just obsessed with this. This was like all new in. They had another really cute one too, which I saw. Um, I think it was Shannon Mooney pickup, and it said like design studio in like big bubble right, and it was sick. But I liked this one because I thought orange and pink is always a vibe. So this I thought will be so cute with a bikini over the top. I was thinking a white bikini. And it's this again like knitted but look at the colour <gasps> I'm obsessed the model looked unreal in this they had this in this colour and they also had it in like a white but I thought let's go colourful um, and it goes like root it's got like string here which you can like ruche the skirt up a little bit which is always really nice and it's got this other cut out so it's like this got a full back but then here it like misses its back like that other dress and then you tie this around your back so then you've got like a big cut out but with like the string which i think looks gorge i could not resist i saw this again on shannon mooney's um haul and i thought i'm sorry i have to get it like i know it's a bit cringy don't judge you guys like i'm i probably won't wear this actually out i might wear it to the airport or i might put it on my denim shorts and get a cute pic i don't know but i had to get it so i got it in an eight. Oh my god i actually love it look he says i be the nights oh <gasps> look at that look at the colors so it's like lime green and it says ib through and white and then night in bright pink and i was obsessed we've come into savers archie's got invisalign in and he's got a subway and a very good sister i know i've just said 12 no what is it it's foot long anyway i've paying for savers to get some bits of holiday but i'm not actually seeing anything that i need in here so i've got a trolley but I might just go to body care. So I've got shampoo. Cause baby in your absence life is boring. So I'll never leave. Mm -hmm. It's easier. Guys, we've been productive. I've been to um, body care. I went to home bargains. I went on the sunbed. Do not recommend. <laughs> and I also went into boots. It's so hot, my face feels like it's burning. I've just sat in the garden for literally 10 minutes with my brother and I'm actually like got a sweat on. Anyway, let's, this isn't the best light, is it? Should I sit here in the sun? Um, that's better. Right, let's do holiday toiletries, like cosmetics essentials that I've brought. I have got some stuff upstairs. Okay, so I've got a, a nail appointment in the morning but it's not with our regular girl so we've got to soak off our nails and me and mum are going literally at nine in the morning so i've brought some like advanced nail polish remover i'm hoping it comes off and then i've brought one of these like cuticle pushers okay this is what i got from home bargains i got a 15 nivea couldn't get a 30 I'll ask mum if she's got one because i really like the spray i don't like the the bottles it's just messy isn't it i'd rather have the spray and they only had 15 so i thought i'll get that and then i'll have to try and get a 30 from somewhere else and then i also got fm fresh so i got this i feel like it's just a holiday go-to it's the hawaiian tropic after sun i feel like it just 
it's just oh it's a survivor isn't it ollie really likes the vaseline one but i thought no if you want that then you can get it but i thought this one's nice and um, i got this garnier summer body you know like the gradual tan just because like i said i haven't really got much tan so i give myself a quick scrub this morning but i'm thinking i might have a bath tonight try and scrub as much off as possible and then i'm just going to apply this tuesday wednesday thursday hope that by friday i've got some sort of color this shower gel just thought i'd get like a summer flavor this is imperial leather mango and papaya Oh, on my nose and it, i feel like mango and papaya is such a oh my god i've just spilled it everywhere that's definitely gonna leak um such a holiday smell i got this i think this was actually from home bargains i got the simple facial wash because i've run out um and i like to like sort of take my makeup off with like a facial wash sometimes so i got that i also got myself a wide tooth comb because i keep borrowing mom's and it's not fair so i got this pink one well it's like an ombre pink look i think this was actually like 80p and it's really good for like curls or um waves i was thinking i might put my hair in the dressing gown thing for the airport and then this is actually one of my favorite things it's the so you know like those things that we used to have when we were younger everything's leaking i'll just have that on there um and i've been obsessed with these for a couple of years i've got the barley breeze one upstairs but i thought because i'm going to ibiza i thought it's only right i get the ib for nights one these are literally like three pound i think 2.99 they last so long i've got one upstairs still with like a fair bit of mountain and i'm sure i got it for my birthday i spray it literally every day nail time me and mom are going to someone new miss you katie um interesting hi the destination is on your right Okay, I think it's, I think it's all the way around. I think I'm just going to get pink. Because I don't know um, if she's any good. So I don't want to risk having rubbish nails. So I think I'm just going to have something simple pink. Mum's going to have purple, so actually they work uniforms. And we will show you. It looks cute in there. She looks like she has a little cute. I think it's all the way. All the way around the one way. So, yeah. Um, we'll show you what we get. These are atrocious. I'm going to have all the length off because they just look disgusting. I can feel love from miles away. In your eyes, tells me stories of life in a perfect place where I wanna stay. This is quite a good. Dad, this car is ice. Vlogging angle, like when I was driving yesterday. <laughs> look at that. Woo. Yeah. Lovely drive with me. When you stalled it, you can remove just what you've done come fly enough. You could do it with your mat. I know. It'd be perfect on there. I trust it. What, you trust your camera or you trust my driving? I trust the camera. She's fine. Um, we are going, well, we're going to Grandma's now, but then we're going to go to Stafford. I want to get a beach bag, so I'm hoping H&M pulls through. Um, also got one of these. Mum doesn't like these, do you? She doesn't no. like coffee. But it's like a caramel iced coffee. Gosh, I've got to hop very fast. I'll show you my outfit. It's way too hot for this outfit, isn't it? It is really. I just wanted to get a picture today. <laughs> um, I'll take the blazer off. But I got some crab sticks to eat at grandma's. And yeah, I need to get a beach bag. I also want to look in Primark for some belly chains. You know what? I got off PLT yesterday. A belly. You know what? One second. I'm going to wait for the microphone. Um, a belly bar. Oh, did you? I had one on. I searched into PLT belly chain because I like to wear them with bikinis and it come up with belly a belly bar and i thought what so then i searched belly bar and i got a gold one because hmm. um, i've never had gold i've only ever had silver i've no other than that one grandma got me and it has like a diamond sun oh, really cute oh, and it was five nice. pounds so i've ordered that that's coming today no it might come tomorrow so i ordered it really late last night okay we're just in coaching and mom's or something i saw 
But I've got it stuck in the thing. I want a new beach bag slash airport bag because the one I had last year is like a write off. So I've seen this one. It's kind of cute. This is only ten pounds, but I don't know what it says. It's like W N. And then it also has these handles. I mean, I don't really get that. Is it so you can hold it? Um, there's some music on, so I'll have to cut this up a bit. But there's a carpet. Oh, okay. I mean, ten pounds. Yeah. Do you think I look good in this one? That's okay. I prefer that one. Hollywood laugh at me if I wore that. I'll laugh at you anyway. True. Coming to Boots for my number one holiday essential. A disposable can. Oh, they've got barley body in here for £7.50. Anyone ever tried this? Let me know. Gosh, they've got so much in the clearance here. Clark Panic does not pull through well like this. Um, actually, I don't think they have any cameras. Oh, yes, they do. What are these? Oh, no, that's just the case. Uh, the twelve pay ninety nine. Oh no, I need to get it fixed. Um, the twelve ninety nine or thirteen ninety nine. Mm. Thought they'd they have been, there, been there. They're yeah. there in the kind of one, like in that section. Oh my god, guys! When I tell you, it's so hot. I actually feel like a dick in this outfit, but like I said, I wanted to get a pic. Um, and my feed needed dark, bit of dark. <gasps> Hello. So haul. What I got today? Pardon me. I'm about to burn. Pardon. Right, mom, this isn't mine, but mom got this. PSA, if anyone's seen this little set in Primark, it's like a really cute holiday set. It's like a little crop like this. And then it's like a little midi skirt, but how cute would this be with literally just like a white cami? It's this really nice like um, pink and white floral print. And the top was on sale. The skirt's 13 and the top was on sale for four pound. Um, so she got that because she's going to Gran Canaria. So from Primark, I got this like gold glasses chain. This was one of them was only a pound. Um, I got all this for six pound fifty. So I got all this. I think this one was actually come up as a pound. It's just like a plain gold um, sunglass chain. But I thought with these sunglasses, I don't know. I guess you put it through there. No, sorry, you put it here, don't you? Yeah with the gold on the side i thought the gold chain could be cute but i like them anyway um and they look cute um on the beach and then i got this like more summery fun one it's got like pearls on and then like colored deeds which i thought was cute because we try to be colorful but like i'm such a neutral girl but i do like to be kind of colorful on holiday and then this pack of 20 is that right one two yeah 20 there's 20 pairs of like studs here for three pound some of them aren't the vibe, but that's like all of them look. Okay. Then from H&M, I got the big white shirt that I showed you. So I got this in a medium and it was only £15. So I thought that's pretty good. I don't have a big oversized white shirt. I've got like oversized ones, but not, not big like this. Like I couldn't wear them on their own. These looked huge, so I didn't even bother with the large. Haven't tried it on, but it'll be fine. Um, and I want to wear that over a pink bikini. So then I got this little hat too. So I thought this could be cute. The hats in H&M, guys, are six. Are they? Yeah, they're six ninety nine. There's one that's literally identical to my sporty and rich one, like blue, but it says paradise on it. It's the same colour. It's literally identical. And um, there's orange, there's yellow, there's loads. But I thought this pink one was nice. It says paradise so island bay and i like to wear a hat on holiday because i don't really like to tan my face so we've got that and then the beach bag i went for it was a big stress but i went for this yellow one 
what do we think it was 18 pounds and it says relax on it's like a real lemon look you know and it says relax in this like darker yellow color um and I, I liked it because it was big it's got big like straps but also it's got a little pocket here so i can put like my phone or something in there so it doesn't get lost this time tomorrow we will nearly be in ibiza how exciting so i've had some more parcels this is the dress that stripy dress um in a large because honestly the small is ridiculous this small like it's literally like a size four so i asked for it in a large hoping that it will be maybe like a 10 um and it will fit because it's really pretty and i really want to wear it because i feel like on holiday it'll just be stunning but i'm hoping this is bigger does this even look any bigger it says large i mean it does look bigger doesn't it the skirt looks bigger but then I'm thinking, what do I wear under it? Like a nude? We'll sort that out later. And look what also came, guys. Cover my dress. <gasps> the refi stuff, I'm so excited because I've never tried. And I ordered this on Tuesday and it came. I was unsure because it just says like standard shipping. Also, I did the um, heatless curls. I need to just get better at doing the back. Um, but I haven't really watched any videos, so I can't complain. Um, yeah, I ordered this on Tuesday. I didn't know whether it would come in time for Ibiza, but yeah, I got tan in the bronzer because some people said sand, like, is always, is sometimes even a bit light with foundation. And then this is the blush. But I mean, for £60, it's pretty good, isn't it? Because this could literally be your full face of makeup, like, if you don't wear foundation. How cute. So I will try these all out in the Ibiza vlog. I don't want to mess with them now because... I mean, look at me, I look like a state. Um, so that's that. I need to retry this side. And really, I just need to get the show on the road. So I might dye my eyebrows with you guys now. Okay, for reference, this is the brows now. They're, they keep going really ginger. Like, the, the dye isn't holding. Like, can you see the difference in my hair? Which is strange. So, yeah, this is them now. What I use to do my brows, by the way. It is the Isla dye brow and it's literally like £6 I think from like, you can get it from literally anywhere, you can get it from like Asda if you want. Um, I'm just going to rest you on it to do them. And you get activator and colour and then you just mix it in this little pot. right time to get off so i've just got a little pile of um cotton pads and also just some water i'm just gonna last step of the holiday is the covid test Woo! so we've, we're doing a little i think we get the results in two hours um so oh, due to issues with our catering supplier there may be a smaller selection of food and drink available on the plane tomorrow it's not good enough is it get to what if i wanted a can of drink there might be some there just might be a smaller selection um yeah we've got to have the covid test so we're having an antigen test is that up the nose i hate having covid tests they make me feel sick it's fine um so then we're all ready i've just got to finish my packing off ollie hasn't packed he hasn't got any clothes he hasn't got any clothes clean um how are you preparing yourself had a sunbed you haven't even had a sunbed no. I was, I was going to try and get to the gym before. So yeah, Ollie's had his hair cut. That's the only thing he's had to do to prepare. Um, yeah, we're going to have our COVID test and then we're all ready. And then... No. Now what? what? That's if you said off-camera topic. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we are negative. 
the results literally come through literally like we pulled she said says two hours she told us it would probably be about half an hour and they literally came like i'm not even joking four minutes after we left the building they came through we drove off the um car park and the results came through so we're all negative so that's great i'm literally all prepped the only thing i don't have is the cameras but what can we do if they're all sold out i might have a quick look in uh, manchester airport that's where we're flying from and see if i can get any but i'm going to leave this video here guys i need to finish this which is going to be the pack with me so sneak peek <laughs> i hope you're all well anyway if you did make it to the end of the video then thank you so much please smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed and comment down below what videos you want to see subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys with a pack with me followed by an ibiza frog Love you all. Bye.